Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Farmer Bob, uh, great to be back with another uh, FS19 conversion video into FS22 and we are busy with Sandfeld, one of my um, uh, four times maps and we are on episode number five at the moment, wonderful man. If this is your first time around, a warm welcome to you, do uh, pause the video and subscribe, it really um, is awesome to have you around and uh, be nice if you hit that little bell and uh, just join us for all the fun that we are busy with. <laughs> Great man. So guys, uh, Sunfeld is a South African map, it's an actual working farm in the west coast of South Africa. I've made this map for FS19, a lot of guys enjoyed it and uh, I thought I'll bring it into FS22 as well. Great man. So in the first uh, four episodes we've done um, basically all the textures, terrain, fields, farmland, uh, we've done a, a lot of the placeables um, and we are continuing now. In this episode I'm going to aim to finish up, up the animal dealer and the barn or the the bale cell point if if you can call it that way. So I'm going to aim with that for this episode. So first of all I want to get rid of uh, this fence that's here. just want to see um, concrete border. So that is just the one. Did I, do I have all of this in one fence? Oh, it's under fences. Okay, so that's uh, pretty actually. Ne? Um, what I can do is get rid of the light and this little trash bin here. I'm going to just put it in the middle of the road for now. Then I'll remember it's there. It's going to be in my way. Uh, tip there guys, when you select a thing like this in the map, always make sure that you have the main transform because sometimes um, it may be selects the, the allo, uh, allo D1 or allo D0 and then you're in trouble if you move that around. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, finding that hidden stuff on the map is very difficult. But anyway, um, so just a tip there guys. Let's have a look if we can select it like this. a lot of steel fences so it's the one steel fence steel fence concrete border okay so it's the steel fences and the concrete borders <laughs> what I think I'll do um, let me create a uh, transform in here and I'll just put it in um, oh I mustn't make spaces I keep forgetting fence with create something like that I'm just gonna drop it all in there so control X on there there you go and then let me just select one again Oh, I'm in the fences. I keep forgetting I'm in the fences. Control V, paste it in there. And then what I can do now is uh, just move this up. So let's just get some more space here. Pretty annoying if you struggle with a thing like that. Okay, so there it's going to be much easier this way now. So I can move this boy up, like put it up there. This concrete border is somewhere else, but here it starts. There it is. Uh, steel fence, steel fence, concrete border. So up to there. Yes. So from there up to concrete border. Uh, fence with concrete, so up to there. So just drop it in there, like so. You see, so now let's drop this thing right at the bottom again. Right. And now what we can do is um, just tuck it away under the map for now. So if I need it a little bit later on, we will have it around. Good. Great, man. I'm having some coffee in the background, guys. So yeah, do get your favorite drink and uh, relax with me while we carry on with this job. Alright, so first things first, let's collapse this fences. 
let's import um, from my most of my start maps if not all of them have got the placeables um, folder in it and in it I've got all the placeables sorted out for you directly from the in-game map so I'm going to show you how to do one of them in this uh, episode so the ones you don't need you can delete after you've done with the map and which is so nice and if you open any of these it's just an i3d that's all it is an i3d with its shape file so once you've imported into the map you can delete the folder as well as the i3d because once it's in the map the i3d is not needed anymore so it gets imported into the map and then uh, all the textures and stuff is obviously in game so so let's go for the animal trader area bring that in I'm going to drop it in the placeables because that's where we want it right and then select it control B drop it down here right so that is what it looks like very nicely centered everything is leveled um, so what you need to do now obviously uh, just look where you want to place it and I think I will also need to have a look at farmlands just to be sure hey, doch. farmland Yeah, you see this farmland is going to be way too small if I control R here on this farmland it's farmland 11 control R here that is farmland 10 so let's just have a look so farmland 10 is this whole block so I can nip, nip a little bit more space here from farmland 10 to accommodate um, this huge nice um, animal trader area you know so let's get this thing up here now first of all I want to have a look this land is not level you know so it's going to be an issue if the land is not level so um, you know, it's up to there so there's a lot of space here available for for us to make a make use of this nice thingamabob and what we can do there's a nice entrance to this um, thing there's a sign here and everything so I think I'm gonna sort of try and um, arrange it that that sign and stuff is maybe here on the bend somewhere like that yeah I think that will be nice something like that we can swing it a little bit more bring it back closer to the road yeah I think that's gonna be nice and this uh, fence and stuff going down that way we can delete that if we want to or we can um, maybe put that all in one thing maybe get it up a little bit yeah good so now obviously what we will need to do is get the ground leveled for this whole um, setup here mm, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be totally fun so I think maybe the center area of the ground will be the best because I think this map slopes down all the way down from here down to the river it, it slopes and then it goes up uphill up that way so um, if we go I think it's maybe like a third in from here right so let's do it from there let's go up to our our replace uh, we want to go here to replace on our right mouse button and then we want to select our tool here oh and I like the round brush don't like the square one that's good we can make this a bit bigger yeah if we go 50 how big is 50 oh that's a bit big about 30 should be fine all right so let's select this area here control R have a look at the replace value there so if we control R here it's 113 and up here it will be 114 down here it will be 109 yeah so I think I think somewhere yeah somewhere here so 113 it's, it's a good it's a good um, a good height so then we're going to plow into the mountain a little bit and 
build a little sort of a thingamabob there. And then obviously this three guys you want to put max when you do this type of work. And then let's get going. So I'm going to start here. Move around the whole place. Okay, so now all we're doing now is just leveling this whole area for this. Choppy, yeah. I think that's about it. Great. Nice, very nice. I can live with that, guys. I can really live with that. Good. I think what I'm going to do, this piece of um, fence on this side, why did it not select it on its own? It picks up this whole thing on its... Let's just go through them one at a time. I'm going to get rid of that one. This one can stay, that can stay, it looks nice. That one is way too far away, so we'll bring that one closer. It will probably be one of these, yeah. Right. I want to just control B it on the ground. So we can get an idea of the of the height of it, how it's sitting. Looks like it's um, it's a a little bit weird. I think that's going to be fairly okay like that it's looking a bit strange so let's lift it up here okay anyways now let's get rid of some of this foliage um, so we can uh, start and obviously we're going to get back to subtract bring this thing down a little bit more Nice. You see now the wall that we've created there, uh, obviously. And we can keep all of this nice soil. Um, we're going to go up like this so I can see it from the top. Now we're going to just be clearing this hedges and foliage and all this stuff for the... There you go for the trader, the animal trader. And that's what I said, guys. So what you've got now is a very nice um, placeable system that you don't have to go export from the main maps. It's virtually no size at all. And you can just place it down. Just pop, put it into the map and enjoy. With compliments. It's weird, this thingamabob it's because it was purposely built for an area on the map so it's not really straight it's one thing um, sorry no it's not one thing you can now painstakingly go and set up this whole thing one by one by one but I'm definitely not going to do that now I'm going to let it slide just like that for now 
let's bring it down a wee bit good all right i'll leave it like that it's going to be the same drill with this one here grab this bring it up a little bit and let's see oh that was not too bad I'll leave it like that it looks a bit um, dilapidated but yeah I suppose it, it, it fits the character of the area nice and, and worn out and what have you you know so play with it right good so there's an entrance there and there's an entrance here good so now we grab one of these signs Control B just drop it here on this nice wall like so very nice I can live with that and then I think there was another one there we go that one there would actually like to put it on top of this sign um, the decals is that decals part of the white yeah unfortunately it is part of the white what's the back of it black okay um, so which means that I cannot um, sell every week I'll leave that little sign there um, I'm not gonna be fussed with that but this one I want to put up here control B let's call it a, um, a conjunction or a partnership <laughs> if you will <laughs> good 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 right so there you go I like that let's drop our little bin there again drop our light make sure you've got the light selected I'm gonna put one here Doop. and one there Doop. and then also control B one here just move them about nice just swing these guys around nice so add some more lights in here just put a few down here and there you know just so that there's some lighting at night good and now we can just move them about fit them into the nice spots let's get rid of some more foliage here it's not supposed to be there hmm. make sure it's on the right side of the building nice this one just like that and this one control B I think I'll 
place it here next to the corner straighten it out a wee bit and this last one here And that's it guys now now that we have roughly um, a uh, um, animal dealer or animal dealer spot you see Larson's lo loyal loyal livestock animal dealer it looks quite nice I must say we can obviously now spend some time and fiddle around with the fencing um, get rid of this little post box to put it up here you know make it look nice All little props that's available good why not use it yeah I think that's nice now obviously we need to um, get a loading trigger for this for this uh, and I'm also going to incorporate the bond uh, in there as well because I mean one of these buildings might as well be a barn like this one here I think this will be good for a barn or maybe this one here could also be a barn here the animal dealer or the animal cell points definitely here yeah. so so what you do now remember this is just a prop um, this is just a placeable it's got no triggers it's got no working components nothing so let's let's add add to it while we add it let's add to it the working component now in your map you should have a gameplay folder and animal loading triggers if you do not have this it's very simple just open the in-game map export this whole transform into your map just save it and say yes to both questions and then import it and then once you've imported into this like here delete the, the i3d and the and the shapes file that you've exported you don't need that anymore once it's in here it's it's unnecessary like for instance this animal um, thingamabob uh, I can quickly show you uh, here it is Sunfelt South Africa in my placeables animal trader area that's this one that we've uh, imported animal trader area you see so this whole folder as well as the animal trader I'm not gonna have two animal traders on this map I can now delete because it's not and I'll save the map just to prove to you that there will be no, uh, will be no um, what do you call it, missing files, because it's uh, it's it's now imported into the maps i3d. All right. So if I open my map now again, the animal dealer will be there. There will be no uh, missing textures or anything like that. <coughs> and you'll see that just now wonderful so you import that trigger and that's basically all you need for uh, for the workings of this good you see no textures missing no errors if you open your console it should still be error free you see no missing textures nothing good all right I've made my point <laughs> great so in gameplay you got your animal loading triggers um, now this one always stays zero but the trigger and the marker icons uh, all right sorry the animal loading triggers work different than the shop the animal loading trigger and the shop are both in your map.xml it's not in the placeables.xml it's a hot spot both of them and I'm going to show you how to do that so for the animal loading triggers you take the whole transform and just drop the transform where you want the trigger to be control B just drop it there um, I hope I'm not talking trash now I think I am talking trash guys control Z just put it back where it was like so so you bring the trigger only as well as the marker for the icon so let us just bring the trigger control B it should be a green box that's what we want okay there it is 
should be a green box you align it where you want it I want it somewhere there which is good just like that right and then there will be trigger markers actually guys I've I've led you astray first put your trigger marker down align your trigger marker then it's much easier to um, to align the, the, the actual trigger with it you know so just bring your trigger markers in align that to where you want on the map I think I want it somewhere like there it should be alright and now you bring the um, the trigger you see now you've got some corners to align your trigger with which is makes sense to have it somewhere like that all right and there it is and now lastly just bring the icon for it drop it in the center control b just like that because this is a note it's just a marker icon for animals it's a note that the xml picks up all right so um i'm, I'm saying xml but i mean the map map xml picks it up all right okay so there it is now for your placeables let's go to our placeables.xml to make that work you need a line in the placeables xml for the animal oh, not the placeables xml in the map xml i'm talking trash again so open your map xml there should be one for the shop as well as one for the animal dealer if you don't have one like i have here i have i don't have one so what we're going to do is go into farming simulator 22 go into data maps pick any map um, what map did I use here for for this um, thing I'm about let's me let me just make sure which map I use now I've clicked away from it my word um, it's easy it's in the map XML man I can check on top so it's map US so I've used the map US so go to map US whatever map you've used it doesn't really matter but I like to keep things in the same order you know because there is some differences in how they worked the three maps you know it's not always the same so open that map XML and find um, find the animal shop animal there it is under hotspot so copy that line and then just drop it in your map map XML press home press control V and there it is shop animal dealer now what you're going to do now is grab this trigger de of the dealer this one should be zero see it's all zero and then this one will be this so you put your cursor here by the first one the translation x control shift and v for victor huh what happened now Sorry, I need control shift B, control shift C, man. I'm 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 like losing my mind. Control shift C for copy. <laughs> oh, wait. And then come in here by the um the animal dealer and then here by teleport word position. You, you you highlight everything that's in between the inverted commas and just go control and V for Victor. Just like that. Okay. And now what you can do is round off your um your numbering up to the last two digits so it will be 22 here like so just make it a two this one will be uh, number three just like that so it will be one one three and this one will be oh nine just oh nine all right just like that and then take your x value copy that and overwrite the world position here with your x value control v and this world position just have two coordinates the teleport world position has the three it's got the height as well so just don't put the height in here otherwise you'll get an error control c um, it's some some world position error that you will get okay good and that believe it my friends is all there is to do for the animal dealer now the animal dealer will load up in game and it should be all fine all right at this spot and you'll have your little icon on your pda and you can teleport to it and everything will be great and now for the fun of it i want to take this barn the barn move this the barn 
Uh, let's put the barn in, maybe on this roof. How's it going to be on this roof? Let's have a look. It's a big sign. Oh, wait. Maybe we can put it on the side of the building. Let's have a look. Yo, it's bigger than the. Bring it like that. Yeah, it's going to be better on the roof. It is going to be better on the roof. So let's just swing it. So what I do is I I tilt it like this until I get the straight line and then I can go this way and I tilt it this way taking my mouse up while holding the trigger if it's here it's very sensitive but if you hold it and you move it away from the center you get a much finer uh, arc that you can play around with like so it should be nice now I can just move it down up to the right spot just like that I'll just center it somewhat in the middle of this roof yeah that's good enough for me great so there's the barn uh, round bales control B oh why is the round bales not there Z. So let me show you how to do that. Oh, it is one of those things again. So the round bales has got a zero uh, thing, so I have to move them one at a time, unfortunately. Mind you, can't I just take the whole thing then? No, I can't because they are put <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. So just move them around. I hate bales because when you put them down, they never, um, they never on the right spot. So I'm going to show you a trick. So just Control B them all into here, and I'll show you now what to how to get them out of the ground. Control B. It sometimes works, not always, but sometimes. Control B. You can leave them like that, and then all you do is hit this little play button here, and. <laughs> <laughs> as you see some of them pops up and some of them don't so <laughs> oh my word so just find the one that didn't control B bring it out hit play again there you go all right nice so that was the round bales the square bales the same draw with them you can even stack these guys they will be fine to stack And when you eat play, they'll pop up on top of one another <laughs> like that. Uh, it's funny. It's always funny, guys. It stays funny. It doesn't stop being funny. Right, and these silage bales, I hope I can select them all. Yes, they are nice and packed. Control B. I wonder if these things are um, if these things are they are not um, luckily they stacked in one um, big huge stack so I can put them there like that and in this one Maybe we can load this into the garage. Yeah, maybe. Can actually duplicate a few more of these and drop them in here. Oh, you see, I've just made the mistake that I've warned you about. Now I've copied the vis visual part of the round bale. Always make sure you select the control, uh, um, the transform. So control D, control B, drop it in there. 
you know what I want to uh, let's just zero these things Okay. <laughs> I'm over that one fell far. Uh. actually just push it out a little bit out of the um, out into the open there's another one that's just push it out a little bit and hit play then it needs to be just a little bit above above the center of the ground uh, level then it will be fine so we've got enough bales lying around here I think for the fun of it that's what I love about map making you know it's all it's also um, just up to you what you want to do. I love it. Car 07. Let's bring a car 07 in here. Let's park car 07 here for now. I don't know what that thing is. Let, let's have a look. Maybe, maybe, oh, it's a truck. Oh, nice. Where shall we park the truck? Maybe we'll park the truck here. Like so. Nice. We've got the Ford Transit here, which would be nice for the for the BKB. So let's duplicate that one. Ah, just to make things a bit more interesting, guys. Here we go. So I think that, my friends, is um, the way you do a animal dealer and the barn. But we haven't set up the barn trigger yet. It's cell point bales. All right, so once again, gameplay. Go into your trigger markers. Find uh, production, special selling, warning stripes, vehicle selling. BGB. Okay, vehicle selling, special selling. I don't know what that is, but uh, I'm going to just bring it here for a check. What size is that? I don't see the trigger marker. Ah, okay, man. Control Z, Control Z. There's warning stripe bales. Control B. that makes total sense guys now for bales um, you can use um, let me just try and remember now I think it's the Alpine map let's have a quick browse at the Alpine maps uh, placeables which placeables was this this was ours and then I've got um, I think I've got the US one here map US yeah all these green ones is map US um, selling point bales. Let's have a quick look. Suppose the easiest will be to find and just type in bales. Here it is. Selling station bales. Now what I want to do is um, have a look what s that sell point is. Um, so we will go to data placeables, uh, map US, selling station bales and then just open the R3D to see what it looks like because this is the actual trigger, the R3D nice so this will give us an idea what it looks like oh yes, this is nice yeah. so unload trigger and the bail trigger great, now this is perfect guys, we don't need anything more than that so we already got the line for that um, all we need to do is grab um, 
we don't even need the XML. No, you, let's put the XML in the map because um, if I want to custom anything, so I'm going to go Control C, go to my map, uh, go into XML, drop it in here, selling station bail. So now I can customize it the way I want. I can give it a name, and we can call it. Um, sorry I wanted to open it I want to call it um, not animal dealer we want to call it and funny enough this is an error in game guys they call the bail cell point an animal dealer so it is very confusing I actually had uh, a, a thing with uh, with giants about this it's not supposed to be called animal dealer they said to me but you've got two animal dealers on your map but you duh you call guys named it animal dealer no wonder there's two animal dealer icons on the pda you know so i just rename it always to something else so just highlight that and call it um bkb i'll call it bkb because bkb is um it's the co-op here there in the west coast you know so we go bkb um and we'll sell it bales PKB bales. How's that? That sounds good. All right, and it pulls that I3D. So it's map US selling station bales. So we're going to pull that one into our map. Go file import. Uh, FS22 data placeables map US selling station bales. Open the I3D. It's very simple, guys. <laughs> and then. Grab that one, Control X, and drop it in our placeholders folder or transform group. That's the right spot for it. And this transform group must have the script running on it. Uh, environment settings. Who oh, opened environment settings? Uh, supposed to have user attributes. All right, so that must have the placeholders dot on create script running it's a script callback and it's an on create so it's an on create and it runs the script placeholders dot on create all right so it must have that otherwise it won't work so selling station bales and then we just drop it control b boop, drop the trigger here in the middle just rotate a little bit and we're going to take this coordinates once again as well as the rotation so take the coordinates first control shift c this time guys <laughs> and then go into our placeables um, and find selling station bales put the direct um, coordinates there rotation control shift c and rotation there control v just like that all right so now we grab this line control x go right to the top control v we make it make it live make it so like like captain picard says make it so all right good that we need to change that is now wrong so it is now in xml so it is dollar map directory dollar forward slash xml and then the rest we delete until we get to selling station bales like so right and because we've done that now guys we need to uh, grab a line and put it in our mod desk so back into our map again open our maps mod desk because every placeable you put needs to have store data okay so uh store item oh i've already got one nice so all we do is go to that um, grab the part without the map directory in this case Control c go in there and override everything between like so yeah Control v you see and then we just make it active right and there it is xml selling station bales now it's active still need to f uh, do this uh, whole um, mod disk file we'll get to that on another episode and then selling station bales here you can see what uh, stuff we need to add here i can already see we need to add um, 
we need to add alfalfa because this map has got uh, multi fruit on it so alfalfa needs to come in here um, and that kind of stuff so we'll do that later on when we balance the cell points with what sells what good I think that was quite fun guys I really enjoyed that so far it was really nice you can save that one good so now back into the map so we've already got two triggers working that is wonderful I love it great and this will be another cell point but we're going to do an extensive episode on this when we add a train into the map you know all right so uh this guy here is some sort of a wall i just want to see what what is this here control r it's rock dark okay so rock dark i just want to go back here and just do us a rock dark here as well you know on this little a little um terrain thing in my okay it's actually much easier guys if you um, first take away all the all the foliage think that's about it oh no this goes around <laughs> this goes around so So let's just clear some more foliage here. Like so. I'm going to leave it like that. suppose that's all right. And then here on this side where we've got the big cliff, we also want to get a bit of it out of the way. Right, so rock dog. Actually, d don't really like that texture that much. What other rock have we got? Um, we've got rock and rock dog. What does rock look like? Is rock better? If rock, just rock will be better. And it's, I think, I think of uh, basically gonna like this one more. Yeah, let's get a bit of a rock texture there, guys. That's all. And then this tree, Control B because it has now been uh, moved a lot we get some foliage in here control R is the road still level? no the road is like very distorted so what we'll need to do now uh, is level this area here with the brush so smooth go smooth halfway dark like that ok 
Okay, so we smooth it out. That should have taken care of it. So let's just go uh, walk around here. We hit that little I button and then you can physically walk around. A very nice feature in um, Editor 9 of 9, I think. And now you can see my stuff is hanging in the air. Have to sort that a bit. Now oh, that's still good. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. So we can leave that. Okay, when you want to come back to normal mode, you just hit escape. It should be fine. can throw a bit of deco bush in here mm. uh, big just like so I think that's all right and down here you can drop some more of this foliage draw R It was the cone flower, and then we also want the daylily, which is also quite nice. And some deco bush, draw R. Okay, I think that's looking spiffy. And this um, ground texture here, let's just get rid of that. Foliage, yeah. Who? It was too much. Can I not? Can I not get that little orange flower? <laughs> oh my word! Can I not get that, please? Um, it's deco foliage US. Ah, it was daylily. Okay, good. Very nice, very nice. Okay, I like that. Let's run the edge of that. Can actually take this sign duplicate it and also drop one on this side of this building. It's a nice, um, very nice side of the building to uh, make use of for signage. I like. Maybe just get it a little bit more in the center. Like so. so when you drive around, you can see, oh, BKB, BKB, BKB. Very nice. I like it. Good stuff. Yeah, I can live with that, guys. I can live with that. Really nice. Good, 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 good. All right, so we still got um, we still got another saw point to do here, and then obviously our big train job there.
all in a day's work, all to come. I don't know what happened to that um, texture, but that texture looks horrible. We'll have to have a look at that later on. And uh, maybe get rid of some of these trees, because that sign is of no use there where it is, with all those trees in the way. Good. Well, guys, I think that will be the end of this video. Um, much more more than enough work which we've done in this video so thank you so so much for watching and um, have an awesome awesome day a huge thank you to my patreon supporters if you love my content and you like my channel and the stuff i i do and it's helped you sort out problems and issues please do consider to support my channel on patreon or uh, on paypal links are in every video's description just go for it um I much appreciate anything help say. <laughs> Bless you guys. Have a great day, man. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.